Hello everyone, my name is Kayvon Kamali. I'm going to be talking about a NeuroSAN multi-agent accelerator and its differentiators with other multi-agent systems. Okay, so uh, this is an overview of uh, NeuroSAN. Uh, let's first talk about multi-agent systems. So multi-agent systems are a computerized uh, system composed of multiple interacting intelligent agents and the core components of the agents are perception, reasoning, action, and learning. So basically agents perceive in the environment, they reason about the environment, they perform an action, and they gradually learn from their actions results in the environment. The main components of a multi-agent system are large language models. Uh, they offer a simple and uh, interactive natural language interface. Uh, they enable language understanding and response generations and allow agents to interact with other agents or humans. Uh, the second component um, of multi-agent systems is tools, which they extend the capability of the uh, agents and they allow, them, they allow them to interact with the world and perform tasks like database queries, web searches, or API calls. Another building block of multi-agent systems is memory. It provides context and ensures that the interactions is informed by the past exchanges and uh, knowledges, knowledge. Uh, there are various types of memory, short-term memory, long-term memory, episodic memory, of, and semantic memory that represents uh, facts. Um, some advantages of uh, multi-agent systems, uh, one is modularity and specialization. So tasks are broken down into smaller components and each component is assigned to an agent based on their skill set. This results in highly optimized output and streamlines the process of uh, developing, testing and maintaining multi-agent systems. Uh, a second advantage of multi-agent systems is collaboration and the agents collaborate with each other to come up with a solution. Uh, collaboration entails communication and knowledge sharing and allows multi-agent systems to come up with solutions that single agent, agent systems cannot come up with. Another advantage is robustness and parallelism. If a particular agent fails, other agents in the multi-agent systems continue to function and they may even take over the task of the failed agents. So multi-agent systems functions at an optimal level even when there's a failure. Uh, this also enhances uh, resource management, efficiency, and throughput of the overall system. Uh, scalability and extensibility is another advantage. You can simply scale up or down multi-agent systems by adding or removing agents, and you can adapt to new requirements by adding in new specialized agents to the system. There are certain challenges for multi-agent systems. Communication is one which requires agents to maintain communication. Competition is another if the agents have opposing goals. And if you have a very large scale multi-agent systems, there may be coordination or integration issues. Now we're gonna talk about uh, NeuroSAN uh, data-driven agents. It's a library uh, for building uh, data-driven multi-agent networks that can be run either as a library or an, as an HTTP or gRPC server. Uh, the differentiators for NeuroSANs are, uh, first of all, it's data-driven. You specify multi-agent systems via Holcom files. That means you can, do, you can build multi-agent systems with little or no coding. Uh, you don't have to be a programmer to build multi-agent systems. You could be a subject matter expert. Uh, NeuroSAN agents are LLM agnostic. They use LangChain under the hood, so you can work with a variety of uh, large language models. Uh, you can build a multi-layer uh, network of agents. Some of the uh, multi-agent system libraries only allow a layer of one layer deep networks, which is a limitation. Um, you can call coded tools, um, which LLMs on their own cannot do. Like for example, you can query a web service, uh, call an API, or do complex math operations. This extends the capability of the network. Uh, you could call uh, neuro AI prescriptors or predictors. Um, again, if you get more training data, you can improve on your neuro AI predictors or prescriptors that improves your overall multi-agent system. Um, there is a uh, channel called uh, slide data for private data that is kept out of the reach of the LLMs. Uh, that's handy. And also, uh, NeuroSAN uh, lets users decide how to organize and orchestrate agents in a flexible and dynamic way called AAOSA, which is a, um, our own technology. So these are a bunch of references that you can refer to. Thank you.